I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about how hot are you? Are you mild, hot, or on fire? This is going to be so much fun. There's going to be three different piles and what you're going to do is choose the one that speaks to you and choose the one that you're most drawn to. You can ask your angels and guides to help you out on this if you're having a hard time deciding which one. All right, let's get going on this. Hi and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. We're going to be finding out how hot are you? Are you mild, hot, or are you on fire? So these are the choices that you've got. If you're attracted to this ring, then you'll choose pile number one. If you're attracted to this ring, you'll choose pile number two. And if you're attracted to this ring, then you will pick pile number three. And if you need to pause the video to think about it and to ask your guides and angels to help you out to, deci to decide on upon the right pile, then go ahead and do that at this time. But if not, then let's get started. Hi, pile number one. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's find out how hot you are. All right. So pile number one, you're a heartbreaker. Mm. So many people meet you and fall in love with you because you have something very special about you. Many of you are extremely attractive and extremely quick to cut out people out of your life that are no longer serving you and um you've done this before with people that are no longer serving you and so um i'm hearing for some of you you're very cutthroat you know exactly what you want and you don't take crap from anybody you may be in um a wands energy so you may be a leo sagittarius or aries sun moon or ascendant individual so do be sure to check your sun, moon, and ascendant signs. Um, and I can link that in the, I can link in the description box below um, a link to astrolata.com where you can calculate your birth chart calculator to see if this is indeed you. Um, but even if you're not a fire sign, then this is just speaking to your passion that you may be a very passionate person and have so much energy. Um, you're just, you're the life of the party. When you walk in, that's when the party starts. People fight over you sometimes. You may have people that are secretly crushing over you. So I would say right off the bat that you guys are the very hot pile. You guys are like the hottest pile. You are on fire, okay? Um, you are very uh, on fire. But you're also a very balanced person. And your ego does not get in the way. You are not an ego maniac. You are extremely grounded. You know that you're very attractive. And you know that you have a lot of good things to offer people, but you don't allow it to go to your head. Like you are a very kind person as well. And people like this about you and find it extremely attractive. Ooh, we've got the devil here. So many people fall in love with you or they um they kind of like lust over you and they may have like fantasies about you because of who you are and and your essence and also because you're extremely attractive so um and this just kind of confirms that you are the fire you are the fire hot individual okay with the flames here and this devil like whoo you are on fire whoever you are so you are rocking it. Keep being you. Let's see. You know your value and you know your worth. And you discovered this a long time ago. For some of you, maybe you didn't always know that you were all that. And you've had to learn that. But you know it now. So in the past, you might have had like some heartbreak. Um, some people that took you for granted but like you now own it. You know who you are, you know your worth, and you don't take crap from anybody. You may have a special someone in your life right now who just adores you. 
either that or you have friends around you who really support you and they love being around you because of your energy because you're such an energetic and passionate person and you inspire other people now now other not only are you extremely like hot and attractive but like the things that you're doing in your life oh wow like you're doing amazing things and you know you're a real go-getter type of person and people are very attracted to this about in you you might even be an earth sign female or male so this would be a capricorn virgo or taurus individual or you could possibly have somebody from your past who you fought with a lot that was of this sign male or female and you've put it in the past um and you're over it this could be somebody who's like vying for your attention or an ex that wants you back for some of you but like whoever this is um if this is somebody from your past you guys fought a lot and they really wish that they could still be with you um but they're just you know whoever it is they're not telling you how they feel about you but i'm also hearing that like because you're such a heartbreaker there are there's not just one person from your past that is not over you it seems like there's at least like a few people who are not over over you because Wherever you go, I'm hearing you leave your mark. <clears throat> You've left your mark upon this world. Like your energy is so contagious and your laugh is contagious too. Like people just, they want to emulate you. And you may even have some people in your life that want to be like you because you are such a cool person and many people find you extremely interesting. I'm going to draw some charms and cast some charms just to see like if I can get more information about what makes you so hot. All right, so like you are royal here with this crown. You are so beautiful. You are basically living life like you are the queen or the king and you have many people who admire you you are also becoming a better and better version of yourself all of the time you got two butterflies oh my gosh you got two butterflies here which tells me that you are transforming into the person that you were always meant to be and you've been growing and changing so much <clears throat> and people find this very attractive about you and um something special is going to happen to you around the holidays with this christmas tree here so expect that i'm hearing some of you are waiting for either um an engagement or a proposal or something like that um so yeah do keep that tucked in the back of your mind um because i'm hearing that for some of you and of course, I'm not surprised because who wouldn't want to be with you? You you guys seem like amazing people, um, both physically and as a person. Um, so I'm just going to draw a couple more charms and see what the charms say. So the charms are saying that like, you're a gatherer of things you've been like either saving up money and this makes you attractive to other people too you you're good at saving money you're also um above and beyond being a hard worker and saving up money like you seem to just have this knowing about life and intuition about um how things fit together and stuff so like you have a deep understanding of life and this interconnectedness with spirit and you're really in touch with your inner child as well which makes you just really fun to be around and you also have a lot of interesting hobbies and you love to do like either crafts or like some kind of painting or artwork or maybe you're a writer um 
But these are just some of the hobbies that make you an interesting person. Like, okay, so now we're adding layers to this hotness. Not only are you physically attractive, you're spiritually in tune. Um, you are so awesome. You're also extremely talented, I'm hearing. Wow. So pile number one, you guys definitely are on fire. And people have a hard time getting over you. I can definitely see why. Um, you're such a heartbreaker because everywhere you go, you leave your mark. And people from the past can't get over you. And um, you, you may even have someone special in your life right now who just absolutely adores you. And, um, you know, the person from the past, they're not going to tell you, but they really do love you. And they're never going to get over you. They're always going to hold that close to them, that memory of you. And they're very proud that they were with you at one point like an ego boost to them like it just makes them feel better and they sometimes think about you and just get excited and just smile because they're happy and you I'm gonna I just gonna say this you're gonna continue as you age to stay um, hot and attractive because this is something that is timeless and your beauty and your attractiveness is just as you grow as a person you're just going to become more and more hot okay <laughs> that's what i'm hearing for pile number one so that's awesome and i'm so glad that you came here and watched my video um let me know in the comment section um if you liked this and if it resonated with you and thanks so much for being here pile number one that was just a lot of fun. And uh, as always, many blessings to you. Hi, pile number two. If you chose this ring, then this pile is meant for you. So I'm asking spirit today in the cards to tell me if you are mild, hot, or on fire. So let's see what the cards have to say. You have many options given to you. So like you may have many choices about your partners. You know, you're you're I this is already telling me that you're very attractive in many ways, not just physically, but also just as a person. You're very interesting and you have a lot of things going on about you that make you interesting and exciting. Um this is just talking about all the many options you have. So you definitely are um, very blessed. Look at this too. This is amazing. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is all about um, abundance. And so you are very abundant in your looks and in your attractiveness because you've got this Ten of Pentacles here, which just kind of confirms this that you have a lot going on about you. You're a little bit timid though, and sometimes you have to retreat into your shell. Um, so I'm gonna have to take a look at the other cards, but like you like your alone time, and you may have like this timidness, timidness about you where you don't wanna go out and just show off like unlike um some of the signs in astrology like to show off um i'm just like what comes to mind is like leo energy likes to show off but you're definitely more of like maybe you're a cancer sign or something but you're you're not very showy you are very balanced as a person in body mind and spirit and you're more focused on your body mind and spirit conjoined instead of like just your body and how hot you are so i feel like it's not really a top priority to you but you do take care of yourself so um what i would say just like so far overall is that like yes you've really transformed lately into who you're becoming and you're working on becoming this new version of yourself and you are hot 
you are more on the mild side only because of your timidity. So like once you step into your greatness, you're going to become even like more hot and more attractive and appealing to other people. But like you've been so inside of your shell. And so getting out of your shell and like gaining confidence is going to be key in your transformation is what I'm hearing. So like you may be actually planning, um, you know, planning out kind of things that you can do to be more appealing to people or to be the best version of yourself. Maybe you just want to please yourself because um, you don't care to please other people all that much, but like you want to be proud of yourself, I'm hearing. So <clears throat> you're just kind of planning on how you can change and transform yourself here with this death card. And it just talks about how like, you know, in the past, you might have been too too into the, like your own things and not really reaching out to others but like there's something inside of you that really wants to change that you really do want to um be something better you, some of you are looking for romance and you're trying to attract a partner um some of you have been hurt and you have some self-esteem issues because you let somebody treat you like crap for way too long, I'm hearing for some of you. And they really hurt your ego and they really hurt your self-esteem and you've got to rebuild that. And that's why you're feeling kind of mild right now to me because you've got to rebuild who you are, okay? You've got to own your hotness. You've got to own your fabulosity. And you've got to believe it. Believe in yourself. Once you figure this out, you're going to be partying. You're going to be so happy. And it's been like a long journey. I'm hearing for so many of you. Just working on yourself to be the best version you can possibly be. And it's not easy. But you're rocking it out. You're doing great. Just take it one step at a time. I'm going to cast some charms, too, to see what the charms have to say about this. Let's see. Okay, yes, yeah, some of you might not be from the United States, or you may have roots that are um, from a different country. So just know that this, um, this does not matter where you're from. Like, I mean, everyone is basically we're all created equal and um this is just telling me that like not everybody but some of you who are watching are from a different country and um that's okay i in fact i think it's wonderful and i'm not really sure why that's coming out right now but um i'm sure that maybe you guys know maybe this is just to confirm to some of you who are watching that this really is speaking to you and for others of you, just know that um, you are really blossoming into this person that you want to become because you got the butterfly here, all right? And know this, around the holidays, you're going to be feeling more and more co confident. So around December time, um, you're going to be feeling more and more confident. Wow, that is amazing. You're very protected and um, you might even guard yourself a lot is what I'm hearing. Like you're very guarded as a person. Try to get out of your shell and your guardedness and see if you can stretch a little bit each day. Um, do what you can to try to be that person that you really want to be because I'm like, I'm hearing for so many of you, you really want to be um something you have like an image in your mind and you what you need to do is just keep that image in your mind and work toward it a little bit each day so like take little steps if that's like an action plan for exercising then this charm here is like go for it here with the car forward action you know like get a plan in place um start an exercise routine or a healthy eating routine um, because everything is going to fit together like a puzzle, but you've got to get all these components together to improve yourself 
not only your physical body, but your essence. So like work on your body and work on your health and your spirituality as well. And um, really, you know, try to do things that will enrich your soul. So like I'm talking about doing things that make you happy. Okay. Um, whatever makes you happy is going to build your confidence. And I'm hearing too for some of you like just um, get in touch with your talents and stop ignoring um, your gifts because so many of you have talents and gifts that you're not using I'm hearing all right and I'm just gonna cast a few more so some of you might be Pisces people Sun Moon or Ascendant Pisces nature of the fish um, with that fish there and so this just means that if, if you're not Pisces or whether you are or you're not, um, it doesn't matter. The message is the same, that you're the kind of person who likes to go deep and think deeply into things. And it's time right now to go deep into yourself and to ask yourself, what do I need to do right now to become the best version of myself? Know that all things are connected. This one kind of goes along with this one that all things are connected and that everything has a divine plan and the charms here um this one is telling me that you should you should try to be a little bit more playful you've got to make time for play because sometimes you're a little bit too serious and that can make you um you know a little bit too serious is not as much fun as like somebody who wants to be playful and balance playfulness with work. You know, it's all about balance. So I'm not trying to like offend anybody, but hopefully you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're watching this, that you're, you're a little too serious sometimes and you need to balance work with play. Okay. So this has been really a great reading and thanks so much for tuning in today. Um, I know that you're going to transform yourself and possibly, you know, by the holidays. So keep me posted on that. And also put in the comment section if this resonated with you at all. Um, if you enjoyed it, let me know and like my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks so much, uh, pile number two, for being here today. And many blessings to you. Hi, pile number three. I hope that you're doing well. Thanks for being here and I'm glad you found my video. So today we're gonna to be talking about how hot are you? Are you hot? Are you mild? Or are you on fire? So let's take a look at the cards. Pile number three, you might be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo individual. But even if you're not, um, you just have a lot of energy and a lot of passion and a lot of zest for life and whatever you do makes you very attractive to people. Yes, you are very attractive, I'm hearing, physically and also just your essence. You're really a mover and a shaker. You're, you've, you have goals and you go after them. This makes you very attractive. You are the life of the party. You love to celebrate good things in life. Um, you love a reason to celebrate or to have a party. And I'm also hearing that when you show up, people get excited because you elevate the, the energy in the room. You are the boss. So, you know, you've got real boss energy about you. Um, you don't take shit from anybody. And um, this makes you an extremely um, sexy person. You're also, you've got a real leadership type of personality. So, you know, just know that, that you are the boss. You also are very um, affluent and you're very giving. If it's not with money, then it's with your energy. Like you, you may be a very giving friend. And maybe this makes you, you know, very attractive too. pile number three. You've walked away from people that don't treat you right. And you have amazing um, ways of like taking care of yourself. 
you've got the page of swords here so you could be um a swords energy gemini libra or aquarius or you may have um walked away from somebody who was a swords energy because they didn't treat you right so it could be either one of those um so you love to party and you don't like conflict and because you want peace and just happiness this makes you like attractive very attractive to um everyone like all all kinds of people it doesn't matter what sex they are you're very attractive because you just want everyone to get along you like harmony um even with this person that like you might have been fighting with in the past um you didn't want to fight with them you just want everybody to get along um but this person might just be stuck but this is not about them this is about you and so let's just draw some more cards here you are again if you are the um, wands energy and if not it's just you um, depicted here as the knight of wands um, being the boss energy that you are coming in here you are um, I will just say this group number three you are very hot okay very very attractive in your personality what you do um your essence so you are definitely the hot the very hot group okay you're also very intuitive and in touch with uh your just the like your emotions but also your you're in touch with things that others cannot see you are in touch with uh your psychic intuition and this just makes you like a double threat because not only or a triple threat i should say because not only are you um extremely hot um you're also like a great leader and you also have amazing intuition um but there's even more than that um you're like i don't even know it's like so many things i'm just overwhelmed right now with with how attractive you are because i also drew this card for you which means that you have so many options like if you're single you have a lot of options out there and um you just have so many people that are admirers too i'm hearing even if you're with somebody like you have people that admire you they think you're very attractive and they think they're that you're very alluring because of your personality let's cast some charms now to see if i can get more information about you pile number three Pile number three, you are extremely anchored in life. And um, I do believe it's because you are very in touch with your intuition, but you're also of the um, you're also of the earth. You're very balanced. So this gives you like, you know, kind of like that feeling of being very grounded, which, you know, people find that very attractive. You're also not afraid to act silly and laugh which is awesome because some people are just too i want to say like stuffy or like too afraid to act um like <clears throat> or to have a good time but you're not afraid to have a good time and even if that means acting silly you are royalty um you are a king or a queen that's why you're the boss you see because you got this um the emperor here wearing this crown and then if you look here at this charm you're wearing a crown here too so like that's confirmation that you really are of boss energy and you really are um like the king or the queen you know that you are you have confidence and i love that about you i love your energy um if this is resonating with you please leave a comment in the section in the comment section i would love to hear about you know how this is resonating with you you're extremely loving too as a person like you're very giving 
with this um, heart charm here. It's like at the center of you and your essence, um, at your very core, you're just very loving and you've been working so hard on like becoming the best version of yourself. And you always put a lot of energy into how you look and appear to others. And I'm just like seeing that like you look beautiful, you know, and people know that you take good care of yourself. Even if you don't have the most physically fit body in the world, there's still something very attractive about you that it's like your confidence, you know, you're confident and also your use of like different things like clothing or your use of like accessories to like vamp up your style I'm hearing you're just very attractive you could be a Pisces person or you maybe um maybe you have a a partner who's a Pisces person but this is somebody this is either you acting like a Pisces or somebody close to you that's near you that's a Pisces person so um, this kind these kind of people if this is you this could be a facet of yourself that you're very deep that you like to go deep into the unknown and and really go go inside of yourself and like look for answers and you're very analytical and very philosophical um so you like to think about life in general and like maybe ask yourself like why are we here and big questions okay so that also makes you extremely um extremely attractive to others because you are smart you like so many things you're smart you want, you're like a peacemaker. You don't like fighting. You're intuitive. Gosh, you're, you are so much. You're like the boss. You're very giving. You're so well-rounded. I've never seen this in uh, one of these readings before, but you're extremely well-rounded. And then we've got the flower again. So like, and, and we've got this, which goes along with it. Like you are continually growing. You never stop growing, which is also something amazing about you so yes you guys are are very hot oh we got something over here though that's hiding that i want to talk about so with this little fork here this just is like a warning like hey even though you know you like to either eat or drink alcohol or something watch the amount that you're doing it because like with this fork um, it just talks about overdoing it a little bit too much. Maybe you're partying too much because it did come out right above the party thing. So maybe just watch your um, your intake, okay? Because you might be getting carried away with that fork there. All right. Oh, gosh. That was so much fun. And thank you so much um, for being here, pile number three. And like I said... If you enjoyed that or it resonated with you, please leave a comment for me. I always read those. And um, this was a lot of fun. I just, I can't express to you how grateful I am that you uh, watched my video today. And, and uh, uh, I hope that um, you just really enjoyed it. Many blessings to you, pile number three. Bye.